Hey Earth Science Lovers, today we are going to discuss IIT Jam 2016 Metamorphic Pathology paper. Before starting paper, let's have a look at the number of questions which were asked in this year. In Metamorphic Pathology, uh, two questions were asked, one of two marks in uh, MCQ and one MSQ question were there, a very important question based on migmatite so in this uh, lecture we will talk about these two questions the first one is based on the simple definitions which we discussed in metamorphic pathology and second one is based on the important concepts regarding the migmatites so let's start without wasting time so the first question is during metamorphism temperature can increase at constant pressure in the case of exhumation by erosion burial by subduction, burial by under thrusting, intrusion of batholith. So it's a very simple question at constant pressure. The key term is constant pressure. So constant pressure will be there in case of intrusion of batholith. So D will be its answer. Before proceeding further, let's examine the rest of the options because these are the options from where the questions might be come in the upcoming year. In 2021 or 2022 IIT jam so the first option has a term exhumation by erosion so what do you mean by exhumation so those who knows all of these terms can skip this portion and move to the next question those who don't know please continue with this uh, definitions which I am just going to deliver so generally the word exhumation and burial are used to denote the vertical movement of the rock related to the earth's surface for example, exhumation is the removal of overburden by erosion or some tectonic processes that reduce the distance between the surface and the rock at depth. So you can look it in this diagram. It is clearly mentioned. And the other two terms are the surface uplift and subduction. So these refers to the vertical motion of the earth's surface with respect to some reference level. So in case of the subduction or surface uplift, we will consider the reference level. So these are the four terms that you have to clear. So the total vertical displacement of a rock relative to some reference level is the sum of the amount of exhumation and surface uplift or burial and subduction. So as clearly mentioned in this diagram, uh, arbitrary uh, datum is chosen and which is shown with dash line. The star represent the rock which is uh, taken into the consideration. So initially rock at a depth D okay now uh, as the tectonic processes were occur the surface get uplifted and the up rock is also get uplifted so now a star moves at some distance of that uh, arbitrary datum and uh, the distance between the rock and the top of the surface is d so in this case no exhumation take place in the case b no exhumation take place because the distance d has remained the same as it is in the case a so up to b no exhumation will take place now suppose erosion start uh, at this place so what will happen the distance d get reduces and this is the process which is known as exhumation so exhumation means a process in which this uh, distance between the surface of the earth and the rock which is taken into consideration is decreased with time so uh, this is a simple layman term we call exhumation now the second term which is used in this question is under thrusting. So what is under thrusting? Under thrusting is the movement of the rock such that the lower block move under a relatively passive upper block with the plane of contact being gently inclined. And one important thing regarding under thrusting is that under thrusting is thought to be the major importance in the formation of accretionary wedges. So this might be a question where this process is a uh, mainly uh, play its important role so you have to remember about this uh, term accretionary wedges are related to the under thrusting the similar term is under plating All, although its meaning is totally different under plating means the addition of material to the underside of a geologic unit a classical example in under thrusting is from the tibetan plateau as we all know that tibetan plateau uh, has an elevation of approximately 2 km above sea level and below is the crust is also about 80 km thick so this is ascribed to the under thrusting of the crust of the Indo-Australian plate or uh, to the horizontal shortening that result of the 
thrust uh, thrust tectonic so under thrusting may lead to the formation of a plateau like tibet plateau so uh, i am pretty sure that you know about the term subduction it is a process of consumption of the lithosphere plate at convergent plate margin but friends did you know about a subduction and b subduction the a subduction is simply the movement of continental lithosphere plate under another continental lithosphere plate in the collision zones whereas the b subduction which is named after the famous person hugo banioff in which the ocean lithosphere get subducted the a subduction is uh, uh, named after the o amfer and uh, this a subduction is also known as delamination so these two terms are new to you so just keep a note on these two terms a subduction and b subduction a subduction named after the o amfer and this process involves the continental one continental lithosphere plate subducts into another and this process is also known as delamination whereas b subduction is named after hugo banioff in which the oceanic sub, oceanic lithosphere subducts so a subduction is possibility to involve shortening of a maximum of only about a few hundred kilometers whereas b subduction can recycle thousands of kilometer of oceanic crust and upper mantle so keep a note on this a subduction and b subduction that might be a question in upcoming exam so after these all uh, discussions let's move to the next question of this year so this is question from magnetites and it is an msq question two marks question very important for all of you so before solving this question let's uh, discuss something about magnetites what are magnetites so if you read uh, in any book or in dictionaries the definition of magnetite tells us that it is a coarse grained heterogeneous mixed rock consisting of high grade metamorphic component with an isos texture and an igneous component with granite mineralogy and foliated or unfoliated portion of that rock so this is the basic uh, definition of uh, magnetites which tells us that it is a coarse grained and a heterogeneous mixed rock so there are some other different facts that you should know as in case of orizonic zone where the highest grade of metamorphism has occurred so at that places partial melting has created the rock which is known as magnetites and its name already i just told you that its name indicate mixed igneous or metamorphic rocks so one of the most striking feature of these rocks is that the low melting light colored granite fraction which is known as leucosome is invariably segregated into sheets or channels that permeate the dark refractory residues which is known as melanosomes on all scale from millimeters to meters the movement of the liquid from tightly compressed fold limb into more open hinge or into shear zones is evidence that deformation accompanied the fusion this is very important thing that you have to keep in your mind that uh, these are the keys which uh, gives us an indication and evidence that deformation accompanied the fusion shear stresses are far greater during formation of magnetites than they are during partial melting beneath mid oceanic ridges shear therefore plays an important role in segregating liquid in magnetites when stress is applied to partially molten magnetite strain occurs mainly in melt fraction because it's much lower viscosity the strain rate in the melt is greater than the solid matrix and consequently the melt move rapidly and tend to segregate especially in shear zones formation of these shear zones decrease the overall viscosity of magnetite which leads to still more strain partitioning into the melt as the strain rate increases the melt become non newtonian and decrease its viscosity that is shear thinning as shear continues melt is actually removed from the rock between the veins this further increase the strain partitioning into the veins of melt and produce a positive feedback this feedback results in pulses of expulsion of melt one of the most important thing regard magnetites is that the field evidence from magnetite zone and theoretical studies indicate that shear channeling 
must play an important role in segregating bodies of granitic magma so if we summarize these all discussions of magmatite we can say that in zone of partial melting liquid first form as a dispersed phase along the grain boundary driven by buoyancy this interstitial liquid moves slowly by porous flow as the solid matrix compacts the flow however soon becomes channelized into small veins that connects to form a drainage network from the zone of partial melting although compaction is a, a viable means of extracting basaltic liquid from partial melted peridotite beneath mid oceanic ridges it is not likely to remove highly viscous granite melts from partially melted lower continental crust their sharing of rock must play an important role in segregating the partial melt so now let's see the question magmatite is a rock let's read option a in which mafic rich part are intermixed with pod or layer of granitic composition yes it is true b with melanosome and lycosomes yes melanosomes dark color residue are melanosomes and lycosomes light colored one with uh, a solid residue and partial melt yes which forms at high grade metamorphic condition yes these magmatites are formed at the boundary where high grade metamorphic relims change into the partial melting type of condition so uh, these all four are correct so a b c d is the answer of this question i hope uh, you learned so much new things from this discussions of uh, magmatite uh, definitely one or two question might be there in the upcoming year exams so please prepare well for these topics don't take it uh, easy so that's all for today we will discuss another subject another year question paper in the upcoming video if you like the video please like it share it and subscribe to the side diaries for better understanding thank you